Hey guys, Steph, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all good. In today's video, I am so excited about this. I'm gonna be doing a full makeup look using some products from Kylie Cosmetics because, and I cannot believe I'm about to say this, I'm actually gonna be working with Kylie Cosmetics over the next few days, which I'm just like, like little Steph from Cornwall, working with Kylie Cosmetics. <laughs> what? There's definitely a lot of moments in my life where I'm kind of like, is this actually my life? Am I dreaming? And this is one of those moments. I'm like, are you sure? <laughs> did you did you like email the wrong person? Like me? <laughs> really? <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm gonna be working with Kylie Cosmetics over the next few days over on Instagram. So this video here isn't sponsored, but they have very kindly gifted me all of these products. Um, but I just figured today we could just chuck them on my face and just do a fun little makeup look. And I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about what I'm actually gonna be doing with Kylie Cosmetics. So if you do see the Instagram post, please go and show it a little bit of love because yeah, honestly, like major, major pinch me moment. But basically Kylie Cosmetics is now available at Heathrow. Like what? I swear like one of the best bits about going on holiday is the whole like duty free, the shopping, like eating all the food, getting the drinks at like whatever time it is in the morning. And now you can get Kylie Cosmetics. You can get a bunch of their skincare. You can get a whole load of their makeup products, like a load of their cult products as well. So on Friday, depending on when this video goes up, I'm gonna be in Heathrow. So if you guys happen to see me, if you're going on holiday, first of all, I am jealous. Second of all, hopefully you came and said hi, but I'm basically gonna be doing makeup on some people, little touch ups, showing you guys some of the products and honestly, I'm so excited. I'm gonna put a couple of pictures on screen now because I had a little sneak peek as to like what everything's gonna look like. They have free donuts. So for like, I think it's the whole month that this is actually going on. They have free donuts, lollipops, like customizable donuts. Cause you know, obviously like Kylie Cosmetics wasn't ever gonna do something basic. Uh, they have like a moped scooter Vespa thing there. Like I've seen pictures of the whole setup and it is just like an Instagram picture waiting to happen. I mean, you kind of have me at free donuts to be honest, but yeah, there's like donuts, sweets, lollipops, loads of different things like that. Obviously the product as well, which is where I'm gonna be because I am actually doing it with Chloe Burrows. I think she's gonna be over by the donuts. So I'm definitely gonna be paying Chloe a visit and by Chloe a visit, I mean the donuts. Uh, so if you see me there stuff in my face, mind your business. But yeah, I'm so excited. I'm literally you just like, what? Uh, I actually have some nails that are arriving tomorrow that I'll include a picture of now as well. The Jade, who you guys know normally does my nails, excuse them right now, but she got little like gel bits on right now. But Jade has made me the most insane nails because I messaged her as soon as I found out about this job and I was like, we've got to go in. Honestly, I've known about this now for a couple of weeks and I've been dying to tell you guys, but uh, I'm so excited. So, so excited. So yeah, if you guys happen to be there on the Friday, hopefully we could say hi, have a little cuddle, we can do some makeup, whatever. Uh, but if not, then make sure you guys go and check it out over the next month or so, because you will be able to get free donuts on the weekend, lollipops, all that good stuff. And you'll just be able to see the general like setup, like the stands and everything going on. Like I said, it's literally an Instagram picture waiting to happen. So expect a couple of Instagram pictures from me in like my pink element. But yeah, uh, Kylie Cosmetics is now available at Heathrow Airport. And like I said, for the next month, there's a whole lot of fun things going on on the weekend. So if you guys have a holiday booked, like I said, I'm very, very jealous, but also make sure you go and check out the stands. Um, Cause it just looks so good. Like I'm a sucker for Instagrammable things and this is that. So yeah, today basically I figured we could put on some of the products that they've ever very kindly sent over to me. Some of them I have already tried. Some of them are products that I have tried, known, loved for a really, really long time. But that's the thing is when I originally tried out some of these products, Kylie Cosmetics wasn't that readily available in the UK, but now you can get it in so many different places, like even at the freaking airport. So we're gonna do a little catch up. I'm gonna do a semi full face, I'm gonna say. It's not like a full, full face, but we're gonna be doing a 75% face today. Um, I'm just so excited. So let's dive in. And also like, I literally I literally feel like the biggest fan girl right now. I have a Kylie Cosmetics bag. <laughs> Honestly guys, I cannot wait to shove all this stuff on my face. So without further ado, don't forget to like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, turn on notifications, all that jazz, and let's get into the video. Okay guys, so I just went ahead and did my base makeup. So I used the Pat McGrath foundation, the Refi brow sculpt. I used a little bit of Freck and then also Bye Bye Under Eye and then also my Laura Mercier powder. And I used this moisturizer underneath. I've been using this quite a bit ever since they first sent it to me. And I really, really like it. I already moisturized my skin anyway, like beforehand this morning, but this as a primer, Love it, because you guys know I love a more moisturizing primer and I feel like this, it's lightweight enough 
adds enough moisture, but also it just works really, really well with loads of other foundations. So this is just a face moisturizer. It has a pump. It's very, very lightly scented, so it's not too strong. But yeah, really, really like that. So now I'm gonna go in with one of the bronzers. I've tried out, I think it's called Tequila Tan. I've tried that before and I love it. This is in the shade Toasty. I think it's one shade down. Packaging is so cute. Like this is literally what the store looks like, basically. Like Heathrow, the stand, the store, everything. It's just like this on a bigger scale. So I'm gonna go in with a tapered brush and take a little bit of that. These are really, really pigmented, so you don't need a lot. And I'm gonna tap that onto my cheeks here. Ooh. Yeah, this color's a little bit warmer than the tequila tan that I was using, but it looks like an actual tan. It looks, it looks like I've been out in the sun and not just coating myself in fake tan. Like it actually looks like I've been outside. You've got a nice mirror in the compacts as well, which is always useful. Oh, look at that. I love it. I'm just gonna do a little like three shape. A little bit on my jawline, but yeah, mostly focus it on my cheeks and on my forehead, just to make it look really sun-kissed. I think what I'm gonna do is do a fairly simple makeup look, something like quite neutral, but I do also have a blue liner, so you know I'm gonna have a little bit of fun with that. I might even use some of this as an eyeshadow as well. And then blotting all of that down with my sponge. I'm just gonna cover up the spot a tiny little bit more. So one of those spots that's just like, just does not wanna go. But I'm back to using Bye Bye Under Eye again at the moment and it, it does the job. Patting it on and I'm gonna take a little bit of my Laura Mercier powder and almost kind of bake that for a second because I don't want it to come back. It's staying there, so just someone remind me in a second to dust that off. Yeah, this bronzer is really nice. Like I knew I liked the formula anyway, but this color, I'm really into it, especially with my tan at the moment. So yeah, that was in the shade Toasty. And yeah, I'm actually gonna go in with a little bit of that into my crease, just using a fluffy brush. I've had a really bad migraine recently, so like doing this is just like the nicest feeling ever. I feel like I'm just massaging my migraine away. That's a good eyeshadow color. I always say, use your bronzer or your contour powder as an eyeshadow because it just ties everything together. But yeah, this is a really, really good color. Just for my crease, I might bring it onto my lid a little bit more in a second, but I also have a highlighter to use, so I might put that all over my lids. I'm just gonna sharpen that up on the outer corner a little bit. Yeah, happy with that. So now I'm gonna try out one of their blushes. Now I feel like I tried out one of their blushes ages ago, but then they repackaged everything. And yeah, I don't think I have since then. So I'm very, very curious. I got this shade here, which is like a nice peach and it's in the shade baddie on the block, which is me, obviously. I'm gonna take the same brush that I used before, but focus that mostly like on the tip of the brush and dust that lightly above my bronzer. Ooh. You know that I, I've been dabbling in blusher as of late, like I'm, Dipping my toes in there slowly. This is actually really, really pretty. It's quite, not sheer, but it's quite fair. So it's not giving me like this super insane pop on the cheeks, but obviously you can pick a different color if you want to. But for me, this is like one of those blushes that I don't feel, I don't feel scared of. I'm like, yeah, I could put this all over my face and I won't feel like a clown. Yeah, it's just giving me enough life in my skin and it's the right tone for me so that, like I said, I can just kind of go all over my nose. I don't feel like it's too overpowering on my face. Okay, I'm just gonna dust off that little bit of bake there. That's better. Okay, yeah, nice. I might even add more of that in a minute, but for now, that's really nice. So now you know, <laughs> You know how I feel about this stage of my makeup. It's one of my faves. I'm going in with one of the highlighters, and I've tried out a few different shades, but again, I don't think I've tried out some of the newer shades. This is Queen Drip. And honestly, look at this. <laughs> Stunning. Oh my God. Yes. You ready? All right. Oh. That actually looks wet on my skin. Right, okay. Nothing on there. Give it a little wiggle. And then all of a sudden, it looks literally like, it just looks wet. And you know me, like if this was super metallic, I would not be mad. I like 
a metallic highlighter, but I feel like this would work for a lot more people. Like, not everyone wants to look like a Tin Man. I'm only like mildly judging you, but this is something you can really build up. You can do it a little bit softer. It's a really, really nice color. It's so nice. I'm gonna concentrate it a little bit higher up. Yeah, look at that. It's like, it's literally giving me like a dewy effect on my skin. It doesn't look like a stripe down the side of my face or anything. It's just when it hits the light, it's like, bam. So then I just like to go back in with my fluffy brush from before and just blend all of that together. And then gonna go in with a little bit on my nose. And this, by the way, there is like no kickback in the pan at all. A little bit on the nose. Ooh, okay. I love it. I'm gonna do my usual on the inner corner. Stunning. And then on my brow bone. Take my little fan brush. This is honestly, people always ask me about my brushes. I will do a brush video soon, but this is the petite fan brush from Zoeva. This fits perfectly under my brow. So I can just like get right in there. Sweet. So now I'm gonna go in with one of the pencil liners. This is in the shade 014 Blue Shimmer. And look at this, okay? Look at this. <laughs> I am obsessed. I was kind of planning on just doing like a black liner or something, but I might actually do it with this just cause I'm obsessed with it and you guys know I can't say no to blue. So yeah, I think I'm gonna just do a little flick with the blue. We'll see how dramatic it ends up being cause you know I can sometimes go a little bit overboard. But yeah, let's do that. So these liners are super creamy. I have a brown one. So you really barely even need to like press at all with this. So I'm just gonna draw quite a rough line for a minute and then I'll sharpen it all up and blend it out. I love it. It's just a nice little pop of color. And so then with a teeny tiny little brush, I'm gonna buff it out just a little bit. Ooh. Okay, let's do the other eye. I'm actually gonna go a little bit into my waterline as well. I hate doing this bit. I'm obsessed. Obsessed, absolutely obsessed. I'm just sharpening it up with a little angle brush. Yes. So now for my lips, I'm of course gonna go in with one of the lip kits. So this is in the shade Candy K. I also have another color. Uh, this is called Bear Matte. I have Mary Jo K as well, which I think I've tried before, and it's like the most perfect red shade. But yeah, I'm gonna use the liner at least from the lip kit. Isn't it mad that like Kylie Jenner just did a lip kit and now pretty much every makeup brand out there does some sort of lip kit. And I'm gonna liner it for that. Literally some of the most creamiest liners. Look at that. I thought I'd actually tried out Candy K before, but I think I had Coco, maybe. I don't think I've actually used Candy K, but I really like it. It's a lot more pinky, and you guys know I've been loving a more pinky lip recently. So yeah, this is the liquid lipstick in the shade Candy K. You can see it's like a nice pinky nude, which I might use, but I also wanna swatch the other one. Yeah, so this is in the shade Bare which looks like this. It's slightly lighter than the other one, actually quite a bit lighter. I might use that in the center. Oh my God, I forgot how good they smell. So I'm just gonna go over the lip liner a little bit as well. Yeah, that combo is bang on. <clears throat> Love that pink color. Okay, so I'm just gonna press that in together. And in the meantime, I'm gonna put on one of the glosses. I've actually not tried one of the glosses before, but this is in the shade Sweet. And it's like this light shimmery pink. Again, it smells so good. And I'm gonna put a little bit of that right in the center. And then tap it in. Nice. I'm actually not normally one for glosses with like bits of glitter in them. 
but I really don't think you can tell too much with this. I feel like it just makes your lips look even more plump. Yeah, nice. And now, cause you know, I can't not do it. I just can't. I'm gonna take another tiny little bit of concealer on my grubby little finger with like half of the lip gloss, half of the lip kit still on there and press that right in the center just to create a nice little ombre right in the middle. Give yourself a nice little pout. Oh, I like that a lot, you know. You guys know I'm not normally one for glossy lips, but that is a bit of me. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead, pop on some lashes, do some mascara, might do a little bit of cleanup around my lips and might brush my hair if you're lucky. And then I will check back with you guys and show you the final look. All right guys, so I popped on some lashes. These are just the Cash Beauty ones and yeah, this is the finished look. It's like a soft glam kind of situation, but then we've got a little pop of color in there with the blue liner and I love it. I I might do like a little pop of color in a liner more often. Cause sometimes I don't want to go all out. I'm always literally covered in swatches. Sometimes I don't want to go all out with like a really, really intense wing or something that's like super colorful on the lid, but you get like the best of both worlds here. I like it. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. And like I said, if you're heading to Heathrow Airport anytime soon, then make sure you check out the Kylie Cosmetics little area. Get yourself a free donut or 12, get yourself some lollipops, sweets, like just, just raid it. Like I'm telling you to do that. Just literally just like, just take advantage of the donuts because you know I would. But yeah guys, hopefully I'll see a few of you on the day when I am up there and I am also gonna be vlogging the whole experience. So make sure you stay tuned for an upcoming vlog. And yeah, that's about it. I'll include all the links to the products in the description box down below, just like I always do. If you enjoyed this video as always, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you do wanna see more of me because I upload all the damn time. Once again, I cannot believe I'm gonna be working with Kylie Jenner's makeup brands. Like what? Please like, let's not do the handshake right now. Like just pinch me. Ow, ow. Ow. I feel like I'm just like fist bump. Or let's, let's fist bump as well. What, why not? And on that very awkward note, I'm gonna leave it here for now. I love ya and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. The hand, the hand just like crept up before I was even ready. It was just like Bye. Like, this is what I mean. Like Carly Jenner's makeup brand is working with me and I just fist bumped you. <sighs> just fist bumped you and told you to steal donuts. Take advantage of the donuts because you know I will be on Friday. Anyway, guys, see you later.